Hello everyone, FunshineX here. Welcome back to the Funshine X Laboratories here in the Mod Wars halls, the tree farms. I had a few things to talk about. We had a few comments on the video and also um, there were a few people that submitted to me designs for the Buildcraft tree farm. So I want to show those first and uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into a few worlds and to show those off. So I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so here's the first Buildcraft tree farm. Uh, this was made by a guy named Omer27. No, actually Omer Z7, excuse me. <laughs> and uh, he actually didn't use a quarry, he's using a mining uh, drill. So is that even BC? Yeah, I guess it is. It's put down just very, for a short period of time here. Maybe. Come on. <laughs> or not. Um, but let's look down here. So he's got a little information, says what's X4 mods, build craft, thermal expansion, wireless redstone, open blocks, and open mods core. So what do we have going on? Redstone doing a uh, repeater into wood. So this is how he detects if there is a tree here. Wow, that thing goes fast. So uh, whenever there's a piece of wood there, it'll pass the redstone signal through, and that goes out through the wireless transmitter up to signal one. Uh, he's got a creative strong box here, just uh, having infinite blown bone meal. That's going into this guy, so he's always just trying to bone meal that sapling. Um, over here, we've got all the oak saplings coming back down from being harvested, going into there. And that's more bone meal. So he's got two bone meal <laughs> activators going on. I guess when you've got infinite amount, you can use as much as you want. Um, here, this must be picking up saplings that just drop to the ground and uh, put them back down. It's a little bit interesting because uh, we've got a gigantic tree that grew here and it's not able to go outside the uh, the one by one mining well. It's going down here. But it is pretty cool. Um, so, I'm not sure this passes that's the storage. Hopper. So that's getting like the extra stuff, I guess, that the hopper picks up. Um, so when that wireless redstone passes the signal that the tree has grown, it comes here and it's going to go ahead and trigger this, if I can get to it, uh, terrain smasher. Okay. And then, then that's going to trigger the mining well. So apparently it is fast enough to place down the mining well, get all the wood, and then destroy the guy. Yeah, wow, that's pretty cool. And then once the train smasher goes into a chest, goes back up top and gets ready to be placed down again. So that's the mining well from Buildcraft. Pretty cool. Definitely a, a unique take on on the Buildcraft tree farm that I hadn't expected anyone to do. So props to you. There's all the wood it's been collecting. And uh, yeah. So he's using a few you know, thermal expansion machines to help it out. That's fine. I don't mind at all. I was just one of the main focus to be Buildcraft. So, uh, good job, Omer Z7. Let's go look at the second build. Okay, the next tree farm is submitted by a guy with a YouTube username, Gudin A U Rock. Gudin Gudin A Gudin A Rock. I'm not sure. It'll be in the description. <laughs> Let's see what he had to build. Uh, so this one is a. Everything's run way up here in the sky. And he's going to put his tree down here at bedrock, but it's a little bit difficult because you're, gonna, you're not going to have a bedrock layer like this with one little opening, but I don't know. It, it'll work. So he's also using a filler here, uh, set to fill mode, and also a filler here. So very similar build, one putting dirt down, one putting saplings down. Uh, looks like he's got a, a larger spawn area for the dirt. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let me try and figure this out. <laughs> I can't reach things. Here we go. So this gate is detecting a redstone signal turns red pipe on. Okay, so down here he's got a redstone torch going through a repeater into the wood, and when that's a solid block, that will output a redstone signal to this and gate, or this gate. But when it's just a dirt or sapling there, nothing is going to go through. So this that's how his detection system works to know once the tree grew. And that's going to submit a red pipe signal up this guy, all the way up into the sky. 
and tell this guy, go ahead and put a single energy pulse. So go ahead and pull one sapling out. And that's going to go straight back down the gold pipe and into there. Uh, where he's got diamond pipes routing dirt blue, so saplings would go yellow. And that's going to come into this filler, which it has, but for some reason we're missing dirt. Ah, red chip maybe? For some reason that filler is not starting up again. It might just be the world save, but let's just assume that filler is working and it puts dirt back there. Then you can see the saplings planted. And it should wait for it to grow. The quarry is obviously just saying I have nothing to destroy because it's all bedrock. Do this. Actually this quarry's turned off because it's done. Come on. Come on! Grow. Okay, so we got a little bit of a problem here. All this bedrock here is preventing the, uh, the tree from growing easily. But now it has. I'm stuck inside it. And does he got anything to detect? Oh, yep. Uh, it's detecting, so it's also sending a signal here. Just giving power to the quarry. Okay, so rather than wrenching it, he is just letting it run out of power. So as soon as it runs out of power, it will obviously just stop and turn off, but then once he sends power again, then it will reset itself. And are you going to go dig? Are you going to go do anything? Oh, is this his head? <laughs> That's his head in case I needed it. Cool. Awesome. What's all these books? Oh. There's good now. That's his name. Minecraft name. Yep. Tries takes many tries, he's already know that. Say it good now. Okay, good now. Cool. <laughs> I like the use of the books. You you added a lot of them. <laughs> but definitely cool. And something's not working with the the quarry. I'm not sure why. Need to wrench it maybe? Yep, it does need a wrench. So an autonomous activator could solve that problem. We're having a little bit of problem with the dirt, but overall, very good use. I really like his detection system. I should have used that. Um, to detect when my trees had grown in the mod wars. But awesome, cool. So that was good now. Let's go look at another one. Um, this one is going to be just a image submission. So let me drag this over. Okay, so here we go. Here's an overall picture. Um, he's using... He's actually making a cobble gen and a tree farm at the same time. <laughs> so he's got this big open space. And in each corner, or in two corners, it's got a cobble gen. So it's generating these little cobble blocks. And the quarry is just going to go back and forth between the two. So the quarry is never going to finish. It's going to say, all right, I need that cobble, this cobble, this cobble, this cobble, back and forth over and over and over again. Cool. And then he's actually using um, Thomcraft uh, golems to plant the saplings. <laughs> That's cool. So... He, yeah, he couldn't find a way to plant the saplings. The filler kind of works, more or less. Um, so that that would have been one way to avoid golems if you could figure out the filler and uh, make it reliable. But definitely golems, that's cool. Golems are going to plant the trees. I don't know if he's bone milling or not. doesn't look like it. But uh, once they... Um, looks like sometimes the quarry might get a little bit too fast and jump past the two cobblestones and start digging his dirt. So he's also got another golem to plant some dirt. Cool. And then... A friendly golem to eat the dirt. Okay, yep. And then the, it's the tree. Awesome! I really like that. This is almost exactly what I was thinking of. It's The quarry is a little bit big, um, but it was definitely something like this, where it would eat the tree, and then it would go back up and mine the, the cobble. And I guess having the second cobble there is perfect to make it go back and forth, and then we go eat another tree. Just need an easy way to plant the tree and bone meal it. That is really cool. Awesome. Uh, who was this done by? I didn't mention that. This was done by Plague Nurse. Plague Nurse. Cool. I don't have his Minecraft name, so... Or her, his or her. Can't tell. <laughs> uh, but that is their 
name on their Imgur account. All right, guys, so I was waiting for your submissions. I did go actually uh, attempt to make my own, and I got it mostly working, and then after I looked at your submissions, I, I improved it a little bit. So uh, this is my build combined with a few um, improvements that you guys gave to me. So the major or the main concepts, we've got a build craft quarry here on the top, and it's only set to just dig down a little one by one hole straight down to get all the wood. Um, it's set at a certain level to prevent uh, large trees from growing, so we will only get a small tree here uh, at maximum. Um, over here, this is an autonomous activator with a wrench. Uh, if you wrench a build craft quarry, it will just reset it and it will go again. Um, just providing an energy here. I can't remember what I'm outputting at. Oh, full speed. <laughs> well, I'm going whatever the leadstone energy cell can hold. Okay, so how this... Oh, well, I get a few more things. Down here, I've got two fillers. One doing dirt. That's putting in on this little layer here. And then another one putting saplings. There's a small bug in saplings. If I go and place, place put a piece of dirt here. Uh, it pushes, puts the sapling down, but if you put too many in here, now let's get the dirt here, it starts just like spamming saplings. So I actually needed to have some kind of redstone signal to say, if this is um, detecting, meaning there's a solid block here, then go ahead and cut it down. If it's not detecting, then just plant a single sapling. But this works, um, it just uh, ends up uh, overusing saplings, you don't get a surplus, which is not bad. Um, we have a little problem here every once in a while this dirt guy finishes. Why Why did you stop, dude? You've been working forever. Oh, I know. You never want to give it more than one dirt. That was the problem. So, because this guy's set to put three dirt here, right? One, two, three. If I only ever give him one, he'll never finish. He'll never be able to put all three dirt down, so he'll, he'll always stay green. So I would have to set this up again. Uh, yeah, give me one sec. All right, so I reset it up. Um, so if I only ever give, give him one dirt, he'll plant it there. And I've oriented this whole system such that that's the first one planted. And so you'll see he stays green. And as soon as the dirt comes back around through the system, I plant it again. So that's how you trick the filler into never finishing. Just never give him enough. And he's constantly going to be sucking power this way. So this is not a power efficient <laughs> setup uh, at all. But it was more of can it be done, not can it be efficient. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is a Thomas activator with some bone meal. Nothing new there. Uh, this setup here... As soon as um, this tree detects, this is actually redstone, I don't do this very often, guys. As soon as the redstone signal is passed through the solid block, it all turns on the comparator, but then also goes over here, gets a little bit more bone meal for the system, comes over here and goes through two delays, and then it locks the comparator mode, or comparator and subtractor mode. Um, basically, that gives a, a pulse of a few ticks. Stuff like that. It just toggles it on and off. You can watch it'll turn it. Uh, right now, it, this red pipe signal is off. And as soon as that goes, it's on and it's off. So, basically, what that does is say, I don't want this signal to be on the entire time this tree is here. I only want it to do a single pulse and then turn off. So. That's the way I figured out to do it, make it work. <laughs> I don't know if that's the best way, but it worked for me. Okay, so this uh, iron and gate's just looking for redstone signal to turn red pipe on. When it does, it's putting a signal here that is also looking for a blue pipe signal. The blue pipe signal comes here when there is no inventory in this filler. So, if there's, if the dirt, if the tree is gone, right? There's no tree there would get the redstone signal, plus the blue signal means we don't have any saplings in here. Go ahead and send a sapling. So it's going to output a sapling. So it should only ever use one, but sometimes it does use a few more just based on the timing. But you can see it only grab, grabbed one little sapling there because I've got the single energy bolts on an AND gate. So that's that. Let's go up top again and look at this gate. 
Oops. This gate is just set when redstone red pipe signal, do a redstone signal, so that's just telling the autonomous activator to wrench the quarry. So every time this tree gets planted, it's gonna send a signal up here, wrench the quarry, and then the quarry will start all over again and mine the wood. So I think that's my whole setup. Basically everything else, just the, everything the quarry gets comes down the gold pipe, uh, using some diamond pipes to route, you know, the um, two different types of wood that I'm grabbing. Because right now I can do either type, it's fine. And uh, everything else comes out the red pipe. When it gets here, blue is dirt, so blue will go in there, and then red is everything else. It's pretty much apples. Um, does waste a few saplings on the ground. I could probably solve that with a vacuum hopper or just some running water underneath the whole contraption to grab a few more. But the key fields, the key ideas here are that we are using the wrench to reset the uh, um, quarry and using fillers both to place the dirt and to place the saplings. I do have a block of bedrock underneath the dirt just to prevent the quarry from going all the way down. Um, so you could place this at bedrock um, would be pretty easy to do to find a place where this would fit because it's rather compact the actual structure all right so let's go back to the uh, fungi lab factories and award the player's choice award and talk about some of the comments that we got on the video be right back all right everyone we're back in the factory the first thing i wanted to do was award the uh, awards for those that completed the build craft quarry tree farm challenge so right here let's get a few pedestals here And we'll put down one, two, three. First one was Omer Z7. Um, unfortunately, I don't have your Minecraft name. I tried Omer Z7, I could not figure it out. So, not sure exactly what's up with that. I need a few other heads here. I need a normal head and two other. So, let's do. Those two, and this guy can be out there. Okay, so I'm gonna go to NB, uh, NB Edit, MBT Edit, which I've got installed. And if I look in my inventory, you guys get a quick little tutorial on how to do player heads. <laughs> if I look, I, uh, I wanted um, slot this one and this one. These are both heads. Add a tag camp compound, edit it call it tag then add a string edit it call this one skull owner and set it to the person's name so I've got good now G U D E N A U save and I need to do the same thing with this one so add tag compound edit it tag String skull owner and the other one. I'm assuming this is uh, the right name. Plague nurse save. All right, so now I can save those. And if you look in my inventory now, I've got Goodnow's head and Plague nurse's head. And do they display? Actually, I think I want to sh do that. There we go. So there's Goodnow. Here's Plague nurse. Cool. And uh, let's do that one again. Should be this. Which one? Owner Z7. Just going to display Steve for now, but once I get his actual name, I'll put it there. Okay, so now Player's Choice Award. Actually, let's type about talk about the comments in the videos. Uh, we've got a lot of votes, um, but let's talk about other things. A lot of people really wanted to see the applied energistics system work, and they said, you know, if you can't get it to work, don't bother even showing it. And I agree. Um, I really, I spent even more time on that one, the buildcraft one. I just couldn't get it to work. Uh, basically, the problem is editing or rotating the block the correct direction. Um, it's just very difficult to use applied energistics uh, to eat the tree and also eat above it, and I don't know, move it around. So I couldn't get that one to work. Um, Pointed out, uh, Loki Darkfire mentioned that uh, with Steve Karts you can use a solar engine, and that'll be even more efficient. And that's correct; you won't burn as much 
coal, uh, and therefore wood if you do that. And that works if your cart is obviously outside. You're also going to want to keep that coal engine as a backup just in case it runs under, you know, at nighttime or it gets stuck under a bunch of trees and uh, can't get some coal in time or get more back to power. Um, some pers uh, a couple of people voted for computer craft just because so many of the other builds used computer craft as well. And that is very true. It's very uh, adaptive. It can help other mods. Um, let's see what else uh, using MFR um, cow farms to do sewage and then create your fertilizer so that's makes it a little more self -sustain uh, sustainable you don't have to go after appetite or bone meal pretty good um, da -da -da. a couple people think I should have tried a little bit harder with the item sorting on the MFR conveyor belts it, I, I tried but I'm pretty sure there's some bugs there with the item sorters so I just couldn't get it to work. Uh, Eagle Kai gave me a few more suggestions for new uh, future mod wars and I've actually got all of those as already but thank you. Uh, Ryan Atta pointed out that a gold axe is probably better uh, better for vanilla because it has the fastest speed. I was saying that the fastest was diamond. That's incorrect. Diamond has the greatest durability. Gold is the fastest speed. Thank you. And uh, what else? Um, we do have a vote for Ars Magica. And I will quickly say that you can use Ars Magica to make a tree farm. Uh, but if you watch some of my other series, you'll know why Ars Magica does not appear in the Mod Wars. Uh, tree Capitator is a mod that can do tree farms, cut down entire trees. Uh, yeah, that's true. And I think that's it as far as your comments. So we don't get as many as many as we did for cobblestone. So looks like I was a little bit better at covering all the different tree farms that are possible and even some that aren't. <laughs> but anyway, it's time to award the player's choice. Uh, it was very close between two mods. Computer Craft, what else got some votes? Steve Cards got some votes, but Mine Factory Reloaded was overwhelmingly, well not overwhelmingly, but it was definitely on top. So we'll give him the oops, <laughs> Player's Choice Award. So he, he got the um, Tree Farm Main Award and the Player's Choice Award. Same as Cobblestone, uh, where the winner also got the Player's Choice Award. So I think I'm doing a pretty good job at uh, analyzing the mods and c coming up to the same conclusion that you guys are. So we've got two more mod wars in the books, Cobblestone Generator and Tree Farms. The next one up is Ore Processing, as mentioned before, and you can see the haul is a little bit longer. <laughs> there are a lot of mods, mods that can do Ore Processing, and so I'm going to have to split up that Mod Wars into two episodes. And those will be coming out soon. I won't have as a big of a gap as I did between the last ones here. So look for the Ore Processing Mod Wars coming out soon. As always, guys, thank you for watching. If you have liked the episode, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. It's free. And if you want to leave me a comment, I'll reply as soon as I can. Thanks for any, everyone that also entered in the Buildcraft Tree Farm Challenge. I really appreciate you and you guys get involved and, and help me out and comment and, and come up with really cool builds as well. Uh, I will see you guys next time. This has been Funchin X for the Mod Wars. See you later. Bye.